Ukraine. Servant of the People is a big hit on television, and it's a fiction that may become reality. Putin. Putin. He's been ahead in the polls for weeks, and his lack of experience has become a positive. They identify with me because I'm open. I get hurt, I get angry, I get upset. I do not hide my emotions on camera. I do not try to look different. If I'm inexperienced in something, I'm inexperienced. If I don't know something, I honestly admit it. Ukrainians are ambivalent about this election for good reasons. The country ranks as one of Europe's poorest, and major sectors of the economy are dominated by oligarchs. There's still high-level corruption and a simmering conflict with Russia in the eastern Donbass region. He's certainly a fresh face on the political scene here and a surprising leader of the polls going into this election. But Vladimir Zelensky is not above suspicion when it comes to the rather murky world of Ukrainian politics. Most of his television exposure is on a TV channel which is owned by the oligarch Igor Kolomoisky. He's somebody accused by the government of embezzling staggering amounts of money from a bank and is currently in exile accusations he denies. To muddy the waters further, the bank in question, the Privat Bank, was later nationalized by the current president, Petro Poroshenko. So is this election one oligarch hitting back at another, using a puppet candidate? Look, I run for president, not for returning Privat Bank to Igor Kolomoisky. It would be a very strange goal. Am I that crazy? Do I want to lose my life, my reputation? I'm not insane. I'm reasonable. Still. His support is below the level needed to secure outright victory. If no one wins 50 percent, the top two will face each other in a runoff on April the 21st. The joke doing the rounds here is that for years they voted for serious people as leaders and all they got was farce. So why not vote for a comedian? Francis Collings, TRT World, Kiev, Ukraine.